Hello, hello, it's Nick Pancakes, and we are back once again with some more Kerbal Space Program. We ended last episode, we had flown the Kerbal Mark, Kerbatron Mark 1 and Mark 2, Mark 1 ending in terrible failure. Mark 2 decided less so, but still not reaching our goal of getting into Earth's orbit and back out again. I uh, took some time from last episode looking over some of these parts, and I uh, think we're going to make Mark 3 just a total total new start. So let's uh, let's go with a different top here. Separate it from previous models. And we will build out the new uh, Kerbatron. Let's type this out here. I don't know if that's how I spell it or not. It's the Kerbatron 3. Alright, so what we want here, took a look at some of the parts, and it looks like the basic jet engines. Alright, so I'm thinking this guy here, we can probably just attach to the bottom, right there. And actually, no, 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 no. We're going to need some sort of uh, fuselage or something to... I don't want. I want some fuel. All right. Some fuel. So that's gonna be our base. Our base system here. I also noticed that there is a uh, cone. Nice aerodynamic nose cap we could add on here. Yeah, look at that. And we also want added to this some um, some parachutes. Let's uh, turn on our symmetry here. And also, yeah, let's do snap tangles. I think I think three will be plenty. I don't like the two symmetry. It seems wrong to me to have anything imbalanced like that. You know, a table can only stand if it has three legs. You can't stand a table on two. So let's, let's attach this on here. There we go. So we got a nice parachute system to land our our Kerbal knots safely so this is stage this is gonna be our, our, our topmost stage this is what hopefully will be the only thing needed to bring us back to land I guess in reality we could put a uh, decoupler here so that once we're actually in we're gonna need to see if I guess I have to build it all over here yeah okay Alright, it doesn't like, I think it's our parachutes. Oh, geez. Just attach. Ah, uh, okay. I had to scrap that whole portion there and do that again. But anyway. I don't remember what I was saying. In any case, we got a decoupler. We've got a basic jet engine here. And we've got the final parachutes which actually it's a good thing we didn't do it on there because we need them to be up here on the final unit so we can get rid of any and all bulk and just land our capsule back with its nose cone and its parachutes but this will be our, our final stage that will allow us to re-enter the atmosphere after we attempt to leave orbit so we want our second stage it's gonna be pushing us through the atmosphere uh, where I saw this guy here. Uh, it says specifically only operate efficiently in thinner air. So I'm thinking, well, let's put that away for now. But I am thinking that we will have those as our our second stage. It's going to be after we get ourselves off of the the platform, but enough to throw us the rest of the main way out into the atmosphere and into space. It's a structural pylon, I think is what we're looking for here. Build it relatively low on here. I still like the three try balance that'll help us out. Alright, and then I want, we need 
fuel tanks. We want fuel tanks. Come on. Come on. Make sure it's centered on there. Alright. And we'll add these guys. Alright. That is what I am thinking. I know there's some more uh, structural stuff too. Actually, let's let's do this. Oh, no, 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 it's a coupler. Let's add a, uh, a SAS module down here. And maybe we will add it to the other side of the decoupler. And, uh, it's the other thing I was looking at. Some linear port thrusters. Yeah, that'll do. Alright. And we got a, a high tech base here. Let's take the whole thing and bring it up a little bit. Okay. And I'm also thinking here that we will have a first stage. Let's see, how do we want to do this? We want. Oh, that's kind of neat. Explodes it off so we don't get stuck on it. Put those on there. Structural pylons on the end of those. Oh, I might want to do that to these guys too. Oop. That's not what I wanted. Let's just take you off for now. Why can't I click this? There we go. Uh, now it's kind of just stuck floating out there. All right, delete those. I'm gonna take take these guys, throw them back on here. I wonder if I have like copy paste abilities. Huh? Whatever. We'll take another another set of these. Put them a little bit lower. Maybe double them up. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Is that? Yeah, that's on there. And then a structural pylon at the end of that. I'll put these guys on this first stage here. And then the second stage, we're just gonna put some of these basic solid fuel boosters. Just to get us the hell off of the platform. Want them nice and low. I'll raise these ones up. That's what I'm looking for. See, so their body shape looks a little uneven here. I see what happened. Got to take these structural pylons here and fix them up. Not quite directly on there like they need to be. I think that's right. Put it nice and low again. All right. There we go. Now we're nice and balanced. I think we will add some. We won't worry about that first stage having much aerodynamics, but the second stage here definitely is going to need some help keep us nice and stable. And let's see, do we have like a smaller structural wing? That's huge. That's fucking massive. That's not what we want at all. Swept wings. Oh, yeah, that's actually like plain wings. That's not what we're looking for. Oh, jeez. Maybe we want those on there. That's huge, huge bad mo. Put this guy up here. I think we could definitely use. Well, I don't like how imbalanced that is, though. We want to line that up. Yeah, there we go. A little wonky looking, but so be it. And we'll attach this inline on here. Oh, that's not inline at all. Alright, 
It's kind of a big one. I'm not sure how this can work out. Might not need those wings. Let's. I don't. I don't like the size of those. Paper airplane simulation. This game's got a nice little bit of humor to it. I'm enjoying myself so far. All right. I think that's gonna do us. All right. This is the Kerbatron three. This is what's gonna put us in orbit. Let's make sure everything lines up here. The double blast. Fuel cells here. Gonna blast this off there. I think. I mean, the game's pretty damn good at detecting what sort of stages you want. Let's make sure these. These will come off first, and then these are the next rockets, and they'll come off second. They've only got the one blast. Oh, let's see. I've actually got this one in the wrong spot. Let's see if I can select those and bring them all down here. Is that right now? Yeah. Right? Make sure that blast and that blast. Oh, that blast is in the wrong spot, too. Good thing I checked. Let's drag those off. Move them into here. So this all just comes flying off in one big go. Yep, alright. Make sure we're not accidentally going to throw these off. Nope, they're up there. And finally, we have our parachutes. Alright. Looks good. Let's let's go take this. Let's go take it for a spin. What the fuck? That's not good. What the fuck happened? I don't I don't like that I blew up like right off the bat. I wanna see turbojet engine crashed into the surface. Uh, what? Okay. Let's... I'm not counting that one. Turbojet engine. How did you crash into the surface, turbojet engine? Does it make any sense? Let's take these off. Whoa. See there. Get that nice and low on there. Oh, that's kind of wonky looking. That's not right. Oh, and I don't have my symmetry on. I want to make sure it's sitting on these. That's what I'm, I'm thinking is that if I have these nice and low. Then those turbojet engines won't crash in, hopefully. Maybe we can add those, uh, what was it? Heavily spiked, I don't know what this is. Anyway, I was looking for the guy that had improved sort of funneling down. Connected to engine exhaust. Let's add those here. Yes, no. <laughs> kind of massive now. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know, is exhaust that end or is it the other end? Kind of looks like we want it here, right? Is that? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not counting that as a new one. That's that's still the Kerbatron 3. Listen for a crash here. Alright, I think we're good. Let's get this guy going. Start at 74 meters. And I totally forgot about acceleration last time. So hopefully we'll move on to the second stage one so we can remember that we can accelerate. I don't know. What was my buttons to do that? 
that's that, okay. Keep those there. Alright, let's start this up. Let's go. Well then. I think I might have... Oh, jeez. Oh. I... Mmm... I... I don't... Oh, jeez. That's bad. I'm not... I'm really... I'm really sad. I, I just killed three more of these guys. Alright. Looks like we didn't crash this time. Let's go. Killing kerbals all day. This is this is a nightmare. Oh man. Mm, I don't like that. Can we maybe put the couplers at the bottom? No. Man. I don't know. I don't know. That's bad. Which one of these is stronger? Max thrust 200, burn rate 8. Doesn't have any thrust vectoring though, so this is just gonna be our Get us straight off the fucking ground rockets here. No, it's not gonna let me put it on there because I already have this one. What are you doing? Alright. Make sure I get this nice and centered in there. I don't, I get, I don't know man, I don't know why it's so hard to control on the other one. I want to make sure I activate this module like right off the bat. But, this is definitely worthy of a bump up. I really want to check out those new engines too, but so be it. I don't have enough fuel. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Maybe add better turbine turbines. Uh, we're already on the touch on the launch pad here. Let's just say touch pad. All right. Let's turn down. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. The last run's got my confidence all all shook. C. Is it R and T? I'm gonna have those guys on right off the bat. Keep me nice and straight, hopefully. Let's, get, let's just do it. Let's go.
Oh shit, why did it stop making noise? Is that our first image? Oh fuck. Alright, alright. Oh, why were those two separate? Oh well. This last engineer is not gonna get us anywhere. So they went for fine tuned control. I like that it, it actively resists like my own attempts to turn this. Alright. We increase I'm gonna overheat it if I do. Well, definitely did not have enough power to get us going here. In fact, we might be falling. This doesn't even have enough force to. Alright, let's turn these off. Fly us out towards the ocean here. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Let's turn this back on. Did I re- oh no. I put all my parachutes on the other end. Oh man. I'm sorry, Sidwig. I'm sorry, Gussie. And I'm especially sorry to you, Gorski. I wish you luck in the afterlife. Fuck. Well, I think that's gonna have to be the end of this video. Next time, we'll see if I manage to put parachutes on the right portion of the ship. I'll see you guys later.